Hey guys, so <clears throat> Bruffy1322 asked uh, what it is that makes us like cars, and I thought, well actually my brother commented that my original post was going to be too long, so I should just make a video response, and I thought that's a pretty good idea, so that's what I'm doing. Um, right now you're seeing my opinion of a specialty vehicles garage um, this is for when I'm rolling with my crew because we are mostly a uh, military and mercenary built crew um, I have my Sanchez here I've got the Dominator is kind of just a place filler my rat truck is here because well I really do. I really did like the rat loader, and I, I like the cleaned up rat truck. It's good. The slam van. Everybody was buying those. I've got my Bifta here because my crew did kind of get into uh, the whole kart racing track thing, and I made a couple of tracks, and I allow custom vehicles on mine. But um, our crew kind of had some some rules like no performance modifications, except a spoiler if you wanted. We've got another Mesa here. You saw that I have two, but I have another Mesa here, which is mostly just a uh, placeholder as well. There aren't very many mods on it, except for the wheels and color. Um, this is one of my favorite um, off-road vehicles. It's the Dune Loader, and one of the reasons I like it is that it has a horn that you can't get for any other vehicle. It's got its own truck horn that you can't put on anything else. Then I've got my Dubsta 6x6, which is good for cruise and um, just overall military vibe with a little more menacing look. And it has um, all the up all the upgrades you could possibly imagine on it. And it's sheer torque and weight and everything it just makes a really good vehicle for clearing roads and <laughs> not worrying about traffic then we have what I consider an escort vehicle this is something that if we were going to actually do the private security style um, thing role play I guess uh, we would put a I would imagine us putting an escort a, uh, a um, target here in this thing and then we'd have dubstas kind of there for the intimidation uh, but my overall favorite off-road vehicle nowadays is the Karen Rusty Rebel um, it's nice lightweight it's got decent speed once it's all upgraded you put this uh, Baja front on it it's got the skid plate helps you get over objects like vehicles and bodies but then it's got this back plate, which is bulletproof, to a degree. Uh, you take any amount of hits in a vehicle, and it's obviously going to blow your vehicle up. But for some reason, the tank, the actual gas tank, which you're seeing there, isn't really exposed, even though it looks like it should be. And the um, mesh does nothing. But this will actually stop you from getting shot. Now, it's not like the Zentorno where you can shoot out the back and still not get shot. This, you can't shoot out the back. It's going to hit the, the back here and it's going to do nothing. But this thing has turned into myself and I think my brother's favorite off-road vehicle as well. So this is my specialty garage. Um, like I said, I have placeholders and these are going to um, fill up. Hopefully we get some more military mercenary looking vehicles with heist that being said I do have two more garages one is not full the other one entirely is and I'll be showcasing those as well this is my secondary garage um, this is where this is my what I consider a performance garage it has almost nothing but racing vehicles, vehicles that I use in racing, and I actually have two versions of uh, two separate cars, and I will probably have two versions of other cars at some point as well, but 
that being said, I am now going to move on to showing you the garage. So along the right hand side facing the exit, um, you have what are race car or sponsor variants of vehicles. Now the LG is kind of a placeholder because I'm hoping that they'll give us a um, race car quote unquote or sponsor variant of the LG. It's obviously everybody knows it's one of the best cars if not the best sports car so long as you know how to drive it but I've got the um, livery version of the body and then I've got my double T as just a regular sports bike um, I did use the paint glitch to get this color as well as the color here on my uh, Cockhead Classic. I really like the Cockhead Classic uh, I was kind of torn between whether or not I wanted the roof or uh, convertible version. Um, ended up settling on the convertible version after having purchased them both. And um, this was, it's just a good sports car. If I notice that a lot of people are using Elegies, I i will probably buy, I will probably use my Elegy in a race. But uh, it's not really my go to vehicle. I really don't like the Elegy that much. Um, what I do like, love actually, is the Masacro and the Jester. I love these cars, and hell, I'll even go ahead and show you that I do have a Zentorno, even though I pretty much don't respect anybody who races with them, and uh, I kind of just have it because if you are going to race, you kind of need one. Um, and I, I will dabble in racing from here, from time to time. You notice I don't have the off-road tires on it, uh, and that's because I just think that off-road tires, while they're useful, they're they're stupid on a lot of vehicles, sports vehicles, supercars. Um, this, to answer Bruffy's question, was... Huh? See what I did there? To answer it, but not really. Was, at one point, my favorite uh, car to drive. It's what I call my spy car. It's all matte black. It's actually pretty hard to see at night, uh, even if you are looking down on somebody from a helicopter who's driving this. If they're if, if they're doing things right, it's actually kind of hard to see. I've got black tire smoke on it. I've got all the upgrades you can imagine into it. Custom license plate, uh, off-road tires, bulletproof this and that, carbon fiber here and there. It was my favorite car. Um, but after a while, I mean, it, it's it's an amazing car for handling and driving. I do love the way this thing feels when you drive. It's very, in my opinion, it's it's intuitive. It kind of does a lot of things for you if a car in a game could really be intuitive. But um, before that, it was the Jester. I did, I did absolutely love this thing, and I still do love this thing. Um, it's just, I found myself getting bored of driving these cars because they're so good, you see so many people driving them. And I kind of got tired of seeing me in a Masacro and the next guy in a Masacro, and me in a Jester and the next guy in a Jester, or me in a Zentorno and every friggin' person in a Zentorno. Um, it just got so boring. Now, because they are improved, I do have the race car variants of both the Masacro and the Jester. Um, that is purely because if there was ever someone to create a race that is only the Jester and Masacro race car variants and allows custom cars, I would want my own. I would want to have my own. They both have uh, the same style rims on them. Um, they are tuner rims. I feel like tuners or sports, like I don't, like I said, I don't do the off-road thing. Now, there is an empty slot because I'm hoping that there will be a, another race car variant of a couple of cars, and hopefully I'll replace the, um, the Elegy. I do like it, it's just, like, I, th I think it looks the best as far as a, I don't know, a tuner. Have mine painted up to kind of look like what's his face from Fast and the Furious in the first one. I don't know. I, I, I like the paint job. It's just I don't like the way the car handles all that much. I do feel like it's I feel like it's slow. It feels slow to me. And 
I have it just because that's the thing to do. But I'll probably be getting rid of my sports classic unless they release another good sports classic that I feel really stands up against this. Um, most of the sports classics feel just way too slow, and this one is just I don't know. It, it might be it might be it might not be the fastest, but I hate the way the Z type looks. It pisses me off. Um, I just think it looks stupid, and I don't really like a lot of the other sports classics. I have the JB7. I had the JB700 at one point, but without it being armed, I couldn't justify keeping it. But yeah, I do, so I do have placeholders, and hopefully, I'll be able to replace the Zentorno at some point, get rid of it, because I don't use the reverse feature that cheaters and little bitches use. Um, I don't use that and neither does my brother, and so I really don't see a point, aside from me loving Lamborghinis, I really don't see a point in keeping this thing. I mean, I love the way it looks and all. Don't get me wrong, I do love the way it looks. I think it's a sexy car, but I just can't justify using it. So that's my second garage for now, and um, I'm gonna move on to showing you my main garage, and uh, I'll catch you guys there.